Hi out there in website land. It's time for another Dr. Banjo lesson from the rural rancho. And we are sitting by the shores of Left Hand Creek. Left Hand Creek, so named after the Indian chief Niwot, who was left-handed, and Niwot means left hand in Arapaho. And this creek has been here a lot longer than I have, but I've been here uh, living on this property for 30, seven years now and I love it here and I have my little practice cabin nearby and Gina is here with the camera so I'm going to show you how I do Skyrider which is from uh, the Hot Rise album being released this month on Ten in Hand Records. So uh, this is a banjo instrumental uh, and I'll just uh, show you how it goes at regular speed more or less. <laughs> That's one time through uh, the break on Skyrider. I'm playing a little slower than I normally do, just for uh, sake of hopefully accuracy. And uh, also with Hot Rise, I play this in the key of A. So for the key of A, I'd have a capo two, and I'd raise my fifth string two frets as well. But for practicing it and showing it, I figured I might as well make it easier on you and play it in G. And then if you play it with your friends in A, that'll be fine. Anyway, this uh, is, has a few unusual aspects to it. For one thing, the melody starts right off on the first string. And I like that raking sound while I'm sliding. And there's different ways of rolling this, but it's basically a forward roll. Starting with the index finger there. That's just one of the ways I might do it, but that's the left hand that I always do. And then I have this little run that starts with a forward motion, T-I-M, on strings 5, 2, and 1. So it's a forward-backward roll, actually, forward, T-I-M. And then, well, it's not exactly backward because it goes middle, index, middle. So... That's, I'll do it a couple more times, two, three, four, two, three, four, and then I roll just a little bit more and then I come in with a good solid F chord and you have to go for the high definition on there so you don't just make those notes but little pull off there on the third string from the middle finger. So that's the whole unit we're aiming for. So uh, just to put it in context. So there's an index finger in there, but otherwise the melody notes are being gotten by the thumb. And a little pull off. And you roll out a little bit more and then you have this very important hard driving note. And I'm hammering on from the first string all the way to the third string with the pinky. And if you really want to get a good uh, um, emphasis on that. You got to dig in and get those strings nice and clear. And then with that same pinky, I move over to the third string for a pull off. I just did a hammer on, but now I'm doing a pull off three to two on the third string. And roll forward from the third fret to the fifth fret of the fourth string with my thumb on the right hand. And then the index finger goes next, and the middle finger goes next, and you kind of roll it from there. So, all together, it'll sound like this, two, three. And 
to not an F chord, but it's really an F6 because I'm not going to use the first uh, string for a fretting string. I'll leave it open and that's the sixth in the chord, the D note. So again, it's a sort of a forward, uh, forward roll. And there's a lot of different ways I might play that, but basically I'm just wailing away on an F chord, F6 there, and put on a little hammer on with the pinky on the third fret of the third string. That note is the fourth note in an F scale, so you could say, oh, that's a four, uh, an F sus four, if you wanted to, but basically it's just part of an F chord with a pinky coming down on the third string. And that's forward sort of rolling with uh, the C chord. That's fourth string, third string, third string again with this little run. And then the index of the right hand comes in to get that C note on the second string. So. There, a lot of things might happen, but it's basically an F to G change, so I like doing that sometimes. However, the right hand comes out and makes it work, that's good luck for me, and you can try different things and hopefully you'll hit something good with that. So now we have the, the this part of the B part. for two changes from B flat to C. That's not very typical. That's part of what makes this song a little different. And here's the way I'm going to finger the B flat. Instead of just hold the whole thing like that, I want to leave the first string open. And that's a forward backward roll, starting with the thumb on the fourth, and then going four, three, two. The thumb index middle hit the fourth and second Sorry, fourth and third and second string. So it's and then on the way back, I'm going one, two, three. So four, three, two, one, two, three. Let's get it in context. So here's this B flat. First fret on the first string with an M I. M T roll and then to the C chord. There's different ways to roll that, but and now again it's time for a B flat chord, but I'm just going to use these two notes. It's like a G7 that you might do in Chuck in the Corn, and here it's just part of a B flat chord. And I'm just rolling forward. Here's an important part of the melody, all the way up to the 8th fret with the exact same fingering positions, ring finger on the 1st string, middle finger on the 2nd. So what's going on there? I have my, my ring finger on the 8th fret, but I'm going to take it off and have the 1st string just fretted on the 7th fret by the index finger. A move that's similar to what you might do in the tune Old Joe Clark. And now, if you put your pinky there, what do we have? We actually have a C chord, or part of a C chord. That would be the whole C chord, so... Do it a couple more times. So the melody ends on a G note. But the band is playing a C chord against that. That's a little unusual. So uh, just the whole B part sounds like this.
da 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 I don't sing it so good, but that's how it's supposed to sound on the banjo. Now I'll play the whole break one time. for the next person to take their break, uh, starting on a G chord, even though we ended on a C. Now, um, if you want to get the way I play it on the record, we have tablature. I think there's two versions of this tune. One when I recorded it with a flexigrass band some time ago in the key of G. And then just about exactly the same way to play it as done by Hot Rise on the album When I'm Free, which is uh, out this month on Ten and Hand Records. So you can look up right on the website here, uh, where uh, that's uh, drbanjo.com. If you happen to be watching it on some other website, it's drbanjo.com, and you'll be able to find a link to the song Skyrider, as taught by myself, Pete Wernick, right here on Dr. Banjo's Rural Rancho. See you next time.